Hey everybody, welcome back to Isabel's Moments with Crafts. I'm Isabel, we do diamond painting, we do cross stitch, quilting, we do all the things. Um, thank you for everyone that has subscribed and if you're new and you're thinking about it, stick along and see if something you might like. So, life. Life has been a little crazy. I was supposed to have Wednesday off this last week. I ended up having Thursday off instead because we had people come into work that were showing us new things and I needed to be there so I switched my day off. Um, I think th Tuesday Tuesday, the normal people, normal person that closes, didn't. Let's just say that. <laughs> like, it was insane because somebody else closed. And then they thought they needed an extra person to close as well and I was supposed to be in another queue instead of the one that I am and I was like I don't feel comfortable in that queue um because the person that would know the answer to my question is not here because y'all don't know it and I'm just thinking why do we have this extra person closing today like I don't we don't need it. And I got so frustrated. I'm like, wish I wasn't working on Wednesday. <laughs> That's all I had to say. <laughs> um, I was like, they had this conversation about what was going to go on, but without me. Like, you would think you would tell the person that normally closes, right? Nope. 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 They didn't. <laughs> And we went for shopping for groceries, so that was a long day. Long day. But it needed to be done. Um, I have a calendar thing that says, Live like a mermaid, make some waves. Because I love mermaids. And in the front it says, Hello, I'm really a mermaid. This mini happy long planner officially belongs to me. So I've been trying to keep track of like bills and um because I have to have a calendar also I'll forget things. Um it has like current favorites and celebrations and goals, so yeah, I don't know why I haven't mentioned that before, but yeah, anyway, so I, <sighs> trying to figure out how to keep track of what I do every day, and I figured it has this, um, weekly, like Monday through Sunday, and so I figured why don't just write what projects I'm working when I'm working on them so that I can update and tell you guys. So, uh, dropping things. I like totally dropped it. Okay. All over the place. And there, the sun is coming in through the blinds because the cat likes to be in that spot. So I'm a little blinded and that's why there's like a sun coming to my side. So let's start with what I ended up getting this week. So I ordered some stuff and I ordered fabric to do some finishing and maybe make a bag, possibly. Yeah, possibly make a bag. So I got a pillow insert of a 12 by, 12 by 16 
I'm gonna make the I'm not try to make the the one that I did words words people um the princess's bride one that I finished it's gonna go here on I'm gonna attempt if not then we'll see but I got that to turn it into a pillow maybe I wish they had like an 8x8 pillow insert but they didn't so such is life and then I uh, I am going to blame this next one on Michelle Bendy Stitchy because she always talks about it I'm like oh I don't need it and then for some reason, the one time I got a look, I was like, oh yeah, let's, let's do it. So you're wondering what I'm blaming her. Um, love you more studio sleeve. And I got the sushi one because I love sushi, but it's probably a bad thing because every time I look at it, it's gonna make me hungry. So, the reason I got this was because I've been trying to get back into reading. And this book, um, Wonder Wonder, Wonder Wonder Warbringer, I got from my husband last year. And I've only picked it up again. And I'm only on like page 100. And there's like. 300 some pages like 370 pages or whatever so I'm a good chunk away in it but I got this to go in this but this is too thick <laughs> so I might have to get because this is a regular size and I need regular I need a full size I need the size bigger than this but I do have another book that is like about mermaids that does fit in here, but and that's okay. Cause anyway, anyway, because that book doesn't fit, I figured one of my projects, cause that's what Michelle Monday says she does. And I'll link her down below. And my project just fits in there. So, speaking of haul and this project, I ended up getting a smaller hoop. It's, I think, a four inch hoop for this project. Because I was using a six inch hoop, but because the fabric's so small, I put it on and I'm working on like the corner and it doesn't get it all and it's weird and the tension so I got a smaller hoop and I've already used it because I worked on it because it's easier to work on now so I worked on it but I will show you the progress when we get there the I wanted to show you the sleeve came in this and I love mermaids and I like died and then it came in like a brown paper sack with like a envelope. But I didn't want to ruin this because I wanted to show you guys. It She like ink stamped it with like a heart. Isn't that so cool? Anyway, it's a little thing. It, it is awesome. I got it within a week, I believe. Sorry, I'm going... All right, but I I forgot to also show you. If you look inside, it's mermaid scales. I can't even, it's so amazing. Okay, so 
We got haul out of the way. Alright. So I worked on this dinosaur dem painting. The only day that I worked on it was yesterday on Sunday. I got this whole section done. Kept do trying to do it all day because my cat would want to help and she would get up in there and then she would snuggle on my lap and I couldn't do anything. So I'm like, I gotta get this section done. And I think it's, I figured out like it's super hard to work because there's four or five symbols that are really hard to read and they're almost identical. Identical, so it makes it really hard to work on. And then plus my lighting, light pad is, um, the cord is fidgety. Like sometimes it'll be on and sometimes it won't be. But here we are. So I believe the section that I worked on is like this section right here, this whole section. So you can see like another dinosaur, the legs of another one. And I think the top of this guy got worked on. But yeah. My goal for this next month is to get another section and a half. So get this, complete this section up here done and then a couple of sections on the top but we will see it's supposed to be done in June but I don't think it's gonna get done in June because life and I have other focuses right now and I have two other diamond painting that I'm working on but I put those aside because this is a birthday present and I gotta get it done there's something in my eye ah uh, Sorry. All right. Because I'm working on an aerial one, like a moon, you know, a moon in the spices one that I think I'm halfway done with. Which, because life. Just cross which has my attention right now. But, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe if I can think, if I can get this done sooner, then I can do my other ones, but I don't think about that. Nope, I don't. I know it's hard to work on it because my cat wants to join and I'm just like, I can't. But I think I need to get like a lap desk to sit my lap and do it instead of having it on the table where I have to like sit up and like look. So I think if I get a new light box and a lap desk, that'll help. But I have to wait till we get paid on Friday to do any more shopping because it kind of went a little overboard this last time. What did I work? What else did I work on? Yes, I worked on. Oh, and I babysat on Saturday, and it was late. Late to work on Saturday. I was supposed to be there at 5. I ended up being there at 6. Nope. And then my brother needed a last minute babysitter. And I would have said no because I had been up since like 5.30. But I haven't seen my nieces and my nephews in forever. And so I said yes. Because I changed my shift at work and so I can't babysit as often as I would like. That's okay. Mm, the next thing. I'm going to show you Lyra last. I don't know why, but you know. Such is life. Because she's the big one. So this is the project I'm working on. Mr. and Mrs. I'm changing all the colors except for the green. 
It's a dimension kit. I'm changing it to our wedding colors of colors I just had from the cat one paw print sleeve on our heart and the princess bride one. So this is where I'm at. I think last time, last time I only had the words and this section right here. And I didn't have these done. So I think I figured out how to do French knots. Because if we do a close up, come on. I don't know if you can tell. If I hold it. But the, my French knots look amazing. And the difference is, is the needle. So the tapestry needle, where are we? The tapestry needle will actually um, spread the knot, the French knot apart, where like an embroidery needle, because it's like small and then it gets wider at the tip. But this one, it's got a smaller eye, but it's all one length. So the tapestry needle is not good for French knots, but the embroidery needle, I think is what it's called, I don't know. It's all like one length. It's gonna make your French knots look um, like French knots and not like exploded French knots. So yeah, I don't know if it will focus. Come on. Come on. Anyway, that's besides the points. But yeah, that I worked on this on Wednesday and Friday. I worked on it. So Wednesday I got the white done and then these ones over here. And then Friday I got this done. All of this and this. So now I just have the bottom part here. And then I'm completely done. And then I can either do a new start on a smaller project. I have like a, a go project, but we'll see. So. We got works on that. Done. So that's that. And then the next thing I worked on, you probably already heard me. Sorry. I got that. And then of course it's in here because I told you. I worked on the dimensions, The Little Mermaid by Thomas Kincaid. And this is out of print because they no longer make it. I found it, I think on Amazon. And I was like, I wanted the full one. But I'd satisfy for the half one. <laughs> I'd be satisfied for the half one. But this is. I will insert a picture here. Of the last time you saw it, because the difference between the two is amazing. So I insert a picture. So that's what it looked like the last time you guys saw it. And this is where it's at now. So it's actually starting to look like something. You can tell like those are three rocks, that's a rock, and those are like pillars. So where I'm at in the pattern, sorry. I'm trying to do things with one hand is this top corner here. Can't hold things straight. And I'm I'm trying to do like a mixture between parking and cross country with this guy. But we'll see how it works out. Because I'm trying to be 
fugal with the shreds because they no longer make this. So I'm trying to make them last as, as long as I can. So. That is what I'm working on with that guy. So far. And I only worked on that one on Thursday. And on Thursday, I also got a little bit done on my quilts. I worked a little bit, but not much. Just like a little bit. I forgot to bring it, but maybe I'll insert a picture at the end of what it is looking like or what it is. For those of you who don't know, when I talk about my quilt, I am first time free motion quilting that guy. Yep, so that's that. The next thing I worked on was... Lyra. So I have a nine earth design. It was charted by Michelle Sayeda. An artwork was by McKenna Jinlena. I'm butchering that name. So we're up in this area here. I will insert a picture here. Of the last time you saw her. And I believe the last time you saw it is when I just started started the ninth page. So here we are now. So I just had a few up here and down here. So I've done all all of this. So yeah. And you can tell like this right here. If I show you, is this the bucket? And then there's a turtle in the bucket, and I think it's gonna be this black piece right here. But we'll see. So, yeah. Ah. Uh, I forgot to say. I ended up frogging on this guy because I was using a color that was super close to the fabric color and I didn't like it so I ripped it out and then I am using uh, 5200, the whitest white. So speaking of that. I frog this twice as well. So let's see. So I had part of this guy, it was over here. So I had to frog, I didn't have a lot, I had like two or three lines. So I frog that, put that over there. And then as I was doing this, I realized I had frog, I had put this close to here. This is like on the pattern, it's it's nine instead of ten, so I messed it up. So I had to frog that. I frogged that. Is that the only section? Oh, and then there was one in this block that was off. There was two stitches that were off. And normally I wouldn't fix it, but since I was already frogging. I said, why not? So, that is where I'm at. I didn't make this a focus this week, but I do have the challenge of doing it for 90 days, for quarter two, for full coverage fanatics. So I've been working on this every day. So I worked it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm. Yep. So that is where she is at. Alright, so. Ow. I was sitting on my foot and now it's asleep. 
so plants. Um, of course I want to work on Lyra every day. What am I going to do for me? Or known as Stitch Mania. I wasn't going to do this, Stitch Mania. But I recently had watched Kim Holden back, I think. She has 13 videos up and a mania, and a mania video. And I think most of her, I think she has 10 full coverage hate she's doing and some smaller ones. And she's awesome. You guys should check her out if you like full coverage. She just did like a birthday start, which was the museum shelf, but she's taking off the border of it. And so she's starting in the bottom, bottom left, I think. Bottom left, bottom right. And so, yeah. So I'm kind of copying her idea of like doing page finishes kind of because I always get a page finish done on Lyra and then I want to try to get a page finish on the nativity and then I'm also planning on doing something else because hey heaven and earth designs Michelle put out a challenge for it has to be a completely new start and you have to get like a page finish by the 26th of June. So yeah, I mean, I wanted to start a new project. What? Well, and I wanted to start all the things, all of them. But I was like, you know what? I can do one. And so I ended up putting a poll up on Fnat full coverage fanatics of like, should I wait till July to start? Should I start? I gave them three options. The three options I gave them were the three that I still haven't started yet. Outside of um, Lady Liberty, because that's going to be my birthday start. So I gave them three options. I gave them option for Felicity. I love the colors in the background. I love it. I gave them that option or I gave them Cancer. This guy. I gave them that option and then I gave them this option. Mini Little Monsters. So, I think Felicity had like five or six. Wait till June or July had nine. Cancer had like 16. 16. And last time I checked, this had like 27. So, this is pretty much the overall over overall winner of what I should start so this is gonna be part I'm gonna start this in May I ordered fabric and a couple more charts because you gotta justify three dollar shipping right anyway, I have that on my shoulder so, my plans. I don't even know. I am wanting to get a page finish on Lyra because I typically can. And since I've kind of have all the threads, I might have to get another thread, but. I might end up getting more threads for Mini Little Monsters because I have enough to start him, start that one, but not enough 
to finish. I have like a few from the first page. For those of you who don't know, this is the page. This is what I'm working on, this top corner. I don't think I worked on it this week, but my goal for Mania is to also get this page finished. So up in here and down here. So hopefully I can get this page finished. Lyra's, Lyra's, ugh, Lyra, get her a page finish. And then I'm gonna start this one. But I'm gonna wait till the 19th of May to start it for 2019 because I'm only starting one. So I figured I'd start it on the 19th for 2019. So yeah, he's there, a cutie. See, my problem is every time I get a chart, I always end up starting one of the two. Which is not bad because I only have four. I only really have four. And I finish. And my also my other goal is to have more progress on. So these are the colors that I have for the first page already. I have the 310, the 3799. Seven, and then 3820. Those colors. And then 498, I also have, but it's not on the first page. It's in somewhere else on the chart. And then the 796 and the 995 that I'm working on in my Mr. and Mrs are also in that chart so when I'm done I will put them here. So these are all the, all the ones I have for the nativity with the label of the symbol. These are ones for the little monster. These are all of my extra th threads. All my extra ones that I don't have. Don't have them assigned to projects yet. So, I'm going to start this guy on the 19th. I might get more threads. I've already ordered fabric. I'm going to do them on 25 count, one over one, to see how I like that. Because I think that's what I'm going to do Lady Liberty on. Even though I ordered, I ordered 28 count, but I think they're switching it to 25 count. We'll see. If it's 28 count, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Anyway, I think... Yeah. And I said we were going to get more progress done on this one as well, right? We're going to work on this corner. Hopefully and get more progress on this. Get two pages finishes. Maybe a finish on Mr. and Mrs. And a completely new start on the 19th. So. <sighs> and also get a good section. Get the second, get the third section done on the diamond painting. Uh, dinosaur forest. I think I'm a little over ambitious, guys. Just, just little, but. Those are my goals. Hopefully I can get them all done, but realistically, I don't think I will get them all done. But those are my plans. Two page finishes. You start on the 19th. A finish on Mr. and Mrs. Work on the Little Mermaid and get a section done on the diamond painting. How hard that can that be? So, 
is anyone else participating in mania or like I know people are just doing monogamous mania where they just work on one project um but yeah I wasn't planning on doing doing it and then I saw Kim Holmback's video I'm like I could do that I almost have a finish on one of mine and then, yeah, and then I was like, I could do a new start, but I don't want to do, like, 19 new starts. That's insane. But I can do one. One new full coverage. Because it's a mini. It only has 15 pages. Only. I say that. But. I think that's it. Um, thank you for people that have watched me and came back and if you're new and you like what you see definitely subscribe i try to put out a my cat's getting on the table and she likes to i tell her not to get up there's no room up there for her but if you like what you see definitely um subscribe because i try to do a weekly monday video and then when i get a page finish on Lyra, I typically do a picture compile of each day that I have progress and work on her. So I'm up to page eight. I'm working on page nine. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you guys next time. Have fun crafting. And remember, don't slip the small things. Bye, guys.